Hey everybody, I just finished working out. How is everybody doing today on this good morning, which is a Wednesday morning for me? I'm on my way to uh, Ross because I received a gift card from Mrs. V. How nice. Thank you so much, Miss V. I'm going in there to see uh, what I can find. I want to see if they have any, um, see if they have their fall stuff out. And I'll just browse through and I'll show you guys what I picked up uh, from the gift card. So I am so happy. It's shopping time, honey. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, um, I just wanted to mention publicly um, in light of all of the turmoil that's been going on. Let me turn this air condition down. I hope you guys can hear me. In light of what's been happening with the shootings in El Paso, Texas and um, Dayton, Ohio, um, if anybody affected and have been affected by it, I just want to personally uh, send you my condolences to all the families um, who have lost loved ones to this terrible, terrible mess. I tell you, the devil is just busy and he is a liar. But, um, you know, just trying to destroy lives. It's just sad, sad, sad. So I send my condolences to you and your family uh, if you've lost a loved one. And we just have to, um, all we can do, you guys, is just stay in prayer. You got to stay in prayer. You have to stay built up and love your family, love one another uh, as much as you can. Uh, if you have any unforgiveness in your heart towards anybody, you know, just let it go. Ask them to forgive you and move on because life is too short to be, you know, carrying things with you and on you and in you. I should know I've dealt with that before. I've had to deal with unforgiveness in the past before and things that hurt me, people who have hurt me, family who have hurt me. So, you know, I know what I'm talking about. So it feels good to just let things go. But, you know, this world is just, mm, it's just terrible. It's terrible, terrible with all this, you know, turmoil going on and everything. So, but anyway, um, God bless each and every one of you. And I just want to say publicly that I love each and every one of you. I just wanted to say that. Um,
on my way home now. I didn't find anything good in uh, Ross today. They don't have their fall stuff out, which I was hoping that they did. They probably will put it out, you know, later or soon, hopefully. But I did pick up something um, from Miss V from the gift card that she sent me. So um, it's in the back. I don't know if I can. I should just show you guys right now what it is. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it. I'll just show you right now. How's that? This is just one. Well, I've got. I have two items, I should say. So it's nothing, nothing big, of a haul. But okay, it's just a lantern, and I love it because it's big and it's white. I wasn't particular, particularly crazy about the black on top, but most lanterns um, have black. Not all of them do, but. I just said, well, you know what? The base of it is black, uh, white, and I like the little door. I think it's really, really cute. Let me show you how it opens up. Oh, this is the front here. I had it turned the wrong way. Where is it? Super cute. I love it. I love the door. The caging is kind of like a cage. And this is glass right here. So it has glass. I just thought it was a really cute lantern that I picked up. And the last thing I picked up was just something random. A tea. Some tea. Organic ginger root tea. And this is by Lifestyle Awareness. And um, I hope it tastes good. I know Aaron would love to try something like this. It says supports healthy digestion hmm now I didn't see this part when I was picking it up I don't have a problem with my digestion but I'm wondering if you can just still drink it if you don't have anything wrong hmm so I could go back and exchange it for another tea but this is okay I'll keep it organic ginger root I'm pretty sure it has some type of healthy properties in it so I think I worked out uh, I wanted to do 45 minutes today but I didn't have time for that because I have a an engagement that I'm going to with my mother um, it's a meeting to talk about <laughs> cremation <laughs> now you'll probably say oh gosh cremation is she is she thinking about leaving no 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 you know, you never can be prepared and it's just basically to go get some information and to learn about cremation because when that time comes for her to say goodbye to this world, she wants to be cremated and I already know that. And um, when she first asked me to go, I was like, mommy, because I call her mommy. I said, now, you know, what are you saying to me? Are you telling me that you're ready to go? She says, no, I'm not ready to go. I just want to learn more about the process of cremation, you know, what it entails. And I just feel like, you know, since you're going to have to deal with this when I'm gone, you should learn some things too. And I'm like, ah, okay. I wasn't really like gung-ho about it, you know. And when I told Aaron, he was like, what? She wants to go and learn about that? It was kind of funny, but, you know, guys, you just have to be prepared. But And we're going to be having it at the um, Marie Callender's. And by the way, have you guys heard that Marie Callender's is going out of business? I don't know if that's nationwide or just in my city, but I think I heard it on the news that they are. That they're going out of business and they're trying to pay their debt because I, they're in bankrupt or something like that i'm like wow so now i'm gonna go home take my shower and get ready because i don't have much time and i've got to go to her house and pick her up i told her i would pick her up and we'll just go in one car so that's what i'm about to do okay you guys i'm getting ready to go pick up my mother so we can go to that meeting that i told you guys about earlier of the cremation <laughs> so um, 
yeah, I just have my um, my new do on. Miss Blondie today. <laughs> oh boy, it's hot. <laughs> it is hot, you guys. And I got my coffee. I don't know how I'm going to drive and drink this coffee, but I'm going to make it work because it's only a half a cup. Coffee and mascara. Mm. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to film inside there. I might and I might not, you guys. So if I don't, then I'll see you guys later. I'm going to see if I can get my mother on camera just to say hi to you guys, wave to you. She's not really into this, you know, what I do. So I'll see if I can get her to say hello. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing, a cute little summer top and some jeans, some blue jeans, but you guys can't see those, and some little slip-on slippers, and that's it. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, I just arrived at her house, so I had to let her know I'm, on, I'm here. So hopefully she'll say hello to you guys. And if she doesn't have her makeup on, she probably won't. So we'll see. I just want you guys to say hello. Here she comes. Hi. <laughs> you want the seat back some? Yes, please. Nice. Oh. Okay. Hello. Yeah. How are you? How is everybody? All righty. See, she said hello, you guys. New hair, G. Your new wig. Mm -hmm. My new hair do. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm. We're getting ready to go. So I'll see you later. Chicken tortilla. A oh, hearty vegetable. Mm. They had some fruit. I'm not really hungry. Side salad, avocado. They had fruit pies, green pies. Bowl of soup. Mm. Half sandwich, side salad. Here's your salad. Okay guys, I'm back in the car. I just dropped my mother off. I'm just, you know, waiting until she get in the, in the house. And she is. So, oh boy. That was an interesting type of um, meeting regarding the cremation. Oh wow. I don't know what to think about it because uh, it's not something that I I will ever look forward to you know but you know that day will come and it's always good to be prepared and you know I don't know it just it kind of just has me feeling kind of weird <laughs> you know weird because I was just in a meeting for about an hour and a half 
listening to this wonderful speaker discuss about cremation and what their package deal uh, is involved and all of that. And um, it just kind of makes you feel a little strange, you know. And I have my name tag I'm about to take off because they had, um, see, Liz. Yeah, they had given us name tags and they were supposed to give us a little light lunch, but I think that uh, because my mother needed to leave a little earlier, she has another appointment somewhere else. So we had to leave and, you know, without the, uh, the food, which is okay with me because they were offering um, different variety of things. They had chicken salads, they had a vegetable soup, um, Marie Kerr, I keep saying Marie Kerr, Marie Calendar Pies drinks and things like that but you know how I eat so I just ordered a vegetable soup but they didn't have it um, they didn't have it completely done and it wasn't finished uh, cooking preparing you know to go so we just left without it so that's okay I'm all right about that I'm not gonna worry about it but anyway anyway guys that's it for this um, little vlog. I'm on my way to um, Walmart because I want to see if I can pick up another, um, uh, what do you call it? I need to get a big size um, planner. Uh, I already have a small one, but I need a bigger one. One with the large squares you know that you can write a lot of information in so that's where I'm going so anyway thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later bye